Let's make one update video for the Mustang to see the progress till now. Today is Saturday, April 2nd. <clears throat> so, I received the bracket. Let me turn on the light. I have received the bracket. It's been painted. The spacer here painted. Uh, I have put the power steering pump to align it. If I torque it down, if I torque down this one, it's gonna be aligned properly. This is just for me to measure it and fix proper spacers. Because this with the washers, obviously it's not uh, it's not right, it's not good, and there is plenty of space, let us say here. I'm gonna fix that. I'm not gonna leave it like that, obviously. Uh, now I'm looking for the belts. I'm looking to find the correct dimensions belts. This is the, this is the correct one. That's the correct one. And now I'm waiting another one here. Uh, they brought me shorter. Okay. The radiator fan installed with a spacer. Uh, one small difference, the radiator. I trim, I cut the, the, the this piece here because the radiator was sitting much more in. It was sitting approximately two fingers, if you like, three centimeters more front. So by sitting front, more front than the condenser, you can have too much space between the condenser and the radiator. You don't, you don't want that. You're not gonna be efficient, let us say. Uh, and then you're not gonna have a clearance here from the fan. I would like the fan through this one. I would like to be a little bit more thick, more wide, and to don't have this opening here but that's what it is, so I cannot change that. I replace <coughs> this, that's located there, at this point, and I crimp uh, threads over there. It's much better, more clean than to having this one. And because of this, when you insert inside, it was touching on the radiator, so I didn't have, I have a problem with the clearance. That's one of the reason. Okay, I put the spark plug wire again. I, I, have, uh, I still haven't uh, clocked the rotor inside. I have to bring a uh, top dead center number one cylinder. The coolant temperature sensor I installed it back in place. Okay, the breather. I open the uh, uh, the path that has here uh, the filter, the air filter housing. To put the breather. This was missing from before and I put a silicone hose inside and I did it with this way. This is just only a breather. It does have a pressure or vacuum or something there. It has slightly vacuum if you like. Yeah. What else? What else I did? The radiator fan I put it before. I think I showed you on the previous video how it was looks like. I put the coolant expansion tank, tank down here. This it, you don't have to tight it too much. You need to leave it a little bit open, let us say, to breathe. Why is that? Because if it comes coolant, if you if you block it completely, if you tight it, if you tight the coolant expansion tank fully, it will not gonna um, bleed the air from inside. So it can come like a balloon and it can crack if it starts dumping coolant inside, for example. And then there is a double action valve on the cap, obviously, that it can suck even inside. There is a pipe that goes to the end this has to be on maximum spot. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. <coughs> if everything is working fine, you're not gonna uh, fill up more. Let us say you're gonna fill up a little bit, and then you're gonna go down again when it's gonna cool down. Classic. Uh, what else? What else? Nothing more, nothing less. I put some cables there to see how it was before on the solenoid. This is the solenoid for the starter. There is a positive and goes back there. We're gonna see about that, how we're gonna end up, if we keep this one or not. The, um, I already put Loctite for the bolts on the housing, on the air filter housing down, it's fine. We are okay from here, the new brackets installed. Fun through, okay. The lower radiator hose is beautiful. I need also the upper radiator hose, I would like to change it. I would like to change the upper radiator hose. I can wash it, but I would like to put a new one here. I hope that we're gonna find for me one new, even silicone hose, let us say, 
same color like the engine or black color it should be fine just to be new what I'm doing now since I have the small belt I can fix the adapters the spacers on the lathe I can take care about the fuel filter I want also the other belt for the AC compressor I'm gonna run how I'm gonna run now the belts I don't have so many choices here okay so damper pulley water pump alternator one groove from the alternator and then damper pulley water pump AC compressor inside of the AC compressor not outside because as front as you are putting let us say the belt you are applying much more forces on the bracket and on the AC compressor the alternator it's only the alternator there is no any bracket like this one it's mounted direct to the engine and the other brackets on the water pump here the adjustable so this it is not suffering if you put the belt on the outside position but on this one in long terms let us say I would like to be as close as possible to the mounting point let us say if if you can pull let us say equal in the center it's much better than to pull from far away the AC compressor if it makes sense what I'm saying <clears throat> So you're going to have also the power steering pump that pulls this way, okay? And then you're going to have the AC compressor pulls down. So then on the water pump, you have tension this way because of the belt of this one. Then you have this way because of the, alternate, of the AC compressor and this way because of the power steering pump. It doesn't have to be super tight. Now it's not been tight, the belt, been adjusted. But in general, on the V belt, you don't have to be super tight let us say <clears throat> if it's not uh, making squeaking sound you are happy a again i'm not gonna give ignition timing uh, 15 degrees let us say uh, advance to to be sharp let us say it's a automatic transmission it's a small engine it's not high performance engine mostly for cruising enjoying to have a fuel efficiency and to be able to run in any petrol that means it's not high compressor ratio engine and does have, let's say, a big camshaft. It's supposed to run nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. How I said that. Uh, then, I order also this pipe from the water pump to the thermostat housing here. I haven't received it yet. This block, it looks okay. It does look like it has any crack or something. I ordered before, when, I, when it came the car here, I ordered these brackets. There is one bracket from here that goes here to the firewall and the same thing from the other side. I would like to install it. They never found it. They never, they never sent it to me. I don't have any news regarding these two brackets. Just saying. I have no clue how I'm going to end up that. I would like to put it. There is a reason why to be there. Right? <clears throat> so, that's the status with the Mustang. Uh, what else? What else? What's... Ah, I'm waiting also the cable to come from the handbrake from inside to go down. We're going to see when we're going to arrive. At least we make some progress. Then inside. Inside, uh, there is one small problem. <coughs> there is a small problem with the wiring. Because they put the air condition inside and there are one million wires. Some of them are being cutted. Some other, you see they're hanging here. I have no clue what they have done here with the cables. There is one light here, one bulb. I don't know if this is from the, for the alternator to trigger and engage the alternator. Then you have some relays down over there. Some cables cutted here, relays and all these things. All these things, what need to be done here, if you want my opinion? Need to go to electrician need to remove the dashboard and take care of all these cables behind the dashboard uh, plus I have here inside the this is a relay I think something like that this is this one that came with a wiring kit I have not realized that like I said this is for the electrician maybe it's written here outside ah, cooling fan controller yeah, this we can control, we can connect it on the electric fan front. And then we have, I think the customer, he gave us the, this is for the, the fuel cage. Okay, where's the fuel cage? This one. 
all right and this is supposed to be what's well, at least temperature temperature gates it's is the big one it's too big to be a temperature gates what is the temperature gates oh boy There is a temperature cage in Fahrenheit and some aftermarket cage, and it's this one. But it doesn't have the space to put there so big cage like this one. I'm talking about this. Yeah, we're gonna see. This is for the electrician, that's not for me. <clears throat> this is the wiring diagrams. We put it here inside because the guys, the root, the, these are the. Um, small pieces that you are securing the wiring we put here inside for the electrician to double check also the job what they did the guys uh, how they route the, the cables and if it's everything's fine some other uh, papers here stuff like that even the wiring for the speakers back it's not the ideal we have one rubber there I don't know what's that it's not in the best case to do it like this and to, to hanging all over the place. It's nice to put it properly. Right? To so don't be like that. Stuff like that. Okay. Alright. What's that? Alright. Okay. Forget about that. Well, let's get out. Let's get out. Second, because I move now the leg. Come on. And I need both hands. <laughs> Let me secure this one. Don't have any headache. Okay, uh, from down nothing changed. There is no. Wow. I just secure in a couple of spots the wiring, but I have to remove again the bolts what they are using, and I would like to use down on the floor the threaded piece like this sleeve, not M6, M4, a little bit smaller. Uh, because it's gonna be too much, if you like, to support the cables. I'm talking about the pipes and the cables and the the, the pipes and the, um, the the brake lines and the fuel lines. I'm talking about this one, this is the system that you have bolt that's bolted on the body, and because there are big holes down, not not that much, big hole to to engage this bolt. I like to make it nice and put, let us say, this kind of bolts, like this one. Allen, with a, with this small sleeve and the threads, to be nice. Yep, yep, that's it. That's it, anything else? Ah, another one thing that I saw. Uh, we ordered spark plugs, I ordered spark plugs. And I received, I checked it yesterday. How many spark plugs I received? Six spark plugs. I don't know why. It's a V8. It's not a V6. <laughs> I don't know what's the reason why they, they sent me only six spark plugs. We're gonna see. I'm gonna give to the driver one spark plug as a sample to bring another two. Fun need to be connected, but we have also the controller for the fun. The wire is long enough. Beautiful. Excellent. It's been secured. Nice straight all right it's not touching anywhere the blades looking good looking good so that's the update for the Mustang for any news okay what I'm gonna do let us see when they will bring me the belt I'm gonna install the show the belt for the AC compressor I'm gonna uh, adjust it to have some tension now it's free the AC compressor same thing for the alternator from that side to finalize this 
and then like I said I have to fix now the spaces for the power steering pump to don't have a washers there and continue with whatever parts I have securing the lines down again I'm waiting for the handbrake cable some pipes here for the power steering pump it has to be rerouted or replaced let us say this is the return that goes to the tank but this pipe okay it's a hydraulic pipe but it's very near to the headers I might bring a little bit more high to change a little say to remove it from there and bring it a little bit more up to be far away from the headers since I didn't see any cooler for the power steering pump you don't warm you don't want to warm up the fluid the hydraulic fluid more same thing for the pressure maybe I have to make it 90 degrees and to reroute it down to be far away from the headers because the, the high pressure here looks like goes we're gonna see when comes the time when when comes the time maybe we're gonna be okay <coughs> this not that's not a big deal from this point of view fuel filter I said yeah 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 the ground I don't know if we're gonna be grounded here or in all of the grounds because I saw also one ground was on a painted surface this ground it was here here like I have a contact obviously and there was another ground somewhere I saw it. you have to scratch the surface let us say to find a bare metal to touch the the ground and then you have to put some paint or something to insulate it don't come rusty the body to protect it again here in this country it's not so much critical it's not does have a rain does have a salt it's better let us say it's difficult to come rust but again to protect it operator hose yeah the small hose for the water pump same thing few lines nice beautiful there's no problem at all breather it's gonna be fine it will gonna be fine that's it that's it have a nice weekend